to get started on this, I'm not a big speaker, but at the same time, I also mentioned to Andy before I did the speech, is there anything that I can't say? And he said no. So <laughs> <laughs> Lorna, no, this is actually Andy's fault. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Now before I get started, I just want to... Um, Say that Lorna, as I'm sure you all agree, so absolutely stunning tonight. Mm. Yeah. 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 And I'll be honest, if I wasn't, <laughs> and Andy wasn't, <laughs> then I would. <laughs> But seriously, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Gavin. <coughs> and for those of you that do know me, then seriously. <laughs> but really, I'm Gav. And I've known Andy for longer than, well, normally I'd say longer than anybody in this room, but <laughs> that doesn't really count when half of you are his family. <laughs> You've known him just as long as I have. Anyway, I met Andy when I was six years old. Six. 28 years ago, yeah. when apparently playing football in the front of my house, I kicked the ball, a football that is, into Andy's face. <laughs> you did? <laughs> I don't remember this. And supposedly he said to me, Do that again, and I'll bat you. <laughs> so, those who that know me, no, that I did it again. <laughs> but true to his word, Andy came over and battered me. <laughs> so from that point, I went into my house. Mum, Andy, he's done this. So my mum being my mum and who she is, she came out. Give Andy a proper right act, and to this day, he still says, Gav, I feared for my life. <laughs> <laughs> but saying that, Andy, that's not the first time you've lashed out at me, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember one day walking home from school? Snow. No snow. Well, that was yeah. another time. <laughs> He came over and he kicked me in the knee. Honestly, I cried that much that my neighbour, Lisa, had to walk me home. Aww. Aww. I'm fairly lashing, lash, sorry. <laughs> or, do you have to remember the time that we went on a lad's weekend to Yuki? <laughs> shoulder. Shoulder! <laughs> Dislocated my shoulder. Oh, there you are. <laughs> so many memories and um, there's literally that many memories there's no way I can talk about them tonight. We'd go on and on and on and I'm sure Andy and everyone else who knows us will agree with that. Um, one memory I do remember is all the skateboarding we used to play and the days out. Still, still does, yeah. <laughs> and I remember actually going to a um, side poet with Sheila yeah, yeah. And all the Morris dancers oh, to the skate park, uh, the skate park in Southport. And all this is Sheila. We went to skate. <laughs> Not the Morris dancers. Honestly. Uh, 
Uh, another great memory was uh, when we used to garden sneak and where I used to live in Elton Avenue in Farnworth. <laughs> and we used to garden sneak through every garden within Elton Avenue, apart from the garden of Mr. Deaton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only ever time we stopped was to look through the letterbox of Mr. Deaton just because he was like the scurriest and the oldest man in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Um, another one was we used to make homemade videos. Yeah. <laughs> With the Hoover. <laughs> In my bedroom. <laughs> I was surely agree, just from them few words, I think the less said about that, the better. <laughs> We used to camp out almost every weekend in my dad's shed. Yeah. We used to get banana skins and cook them on the open fire. But that wasn't enough. We used to always take it one step further and try smoking the banana skins. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good idea. <laughs> I'll be honest, I think this is where uh, Andy got his much found love from fire. <laughs> And that's why they decided to burn yours and kids' yeah, kitchen yeah, down. Anyway, as we got a little bit older and I was at to load out in my own streets. <laughs> <laughs> I weren't that old. Thirteen. <laughs> I used to call for Andy around at his mum and dad's and his mum would say to me. He's in his room. Go and get him. So his mum, she like, said to me, go and get him. So then she'd lead me to the cupboard underneath the stairs where he lived. <laughs> His huge feet, his size 12s, 13s, 18s, whatever he was, he used to be there sticking out of the stuff cupboard door. Honestly, mate, I'll never forget that. <laughs> anyway, moving on, I'd probably say my fondest memories of our childhood would be on basketball I used to play. Yeah. yeah. We played it virtually seven days a week. Morning, noon, night time. And uh, people used to come from all over the area to come and play against me and Andy, compete against us. Mm. And honestly, not just saying it, we never got beat. They couldn't beat us. They couldn't beat us. <laughs> 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 nah, seriously. Uh, and in summertime, we used to play on um, a basketball court in farm called Dixon Green. Anybody know it, Dixon yeah. Green? Yeah. 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 I love that now, yeah. yeah. And um, many times we'd be sat there or playing there in the middle of summer, sun scorching. I don't know where this is. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to buy the famous 16 p cans of lemonade. <laughs> and Andy being Andy, you probably know by now, would say, I'll tell you what, Gal, I'll give you money back later. <laughs> 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 Well, Andy, it's been 22 years, yeah. mate, and I'm still waiting for you to What soon as you like, it's so much. You're going to get your 16th Yes. Yeah. 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 But Andy, really, I want my money back. Look at the interest, and it comes with it. Don't forget the taxes, girl. 50p, I'm sorry, 50p. 50p. Anyway, uh, moving on yet again, I remember when we used to go out in town drinking. Probably six nights a week, and the only night we didn't go out was a Monday night because there was no nightclubs open. <laughs> and Andy used to go out in a t shirt that were at least three times too small. <laughs> Picture it Andy, t shirt, three times too small, yeah? <laughs> But because Andy went to the gym, he'd have his tight t-shirt, 
and his really tight PVC pants. <laughs> <laughs> With his T-shirt, tucked in, <laughs> and wearing a three-quarter length real PVC for leather jacket. <laughs> Hang on, wait for the punchline. Walk around, call himself Blade. <laughs> But there's something not quite right with that picture in mind, is it? That's it. Good. Anyway, there was also another time where, like, maybe many of you, Andy used to live with me and Kat, Kat being my wife. Yeah? Yeah. Um, he moved in for what he said would be a week, maybe two weeks, maybe three weeks, until he sorted his head out. So I don't really know why I still not really. Um, anyway, that few weeks turned into a, a probably four months, maybe five months. Can't quite remember. And don't get wrong, um, we had a good laugh. We had some fun times. But to be honestly, there was some really stressful time. Probably once a month. And the once a month was the same time of the month every year. <laughs> Anybody guess what time of month that might have been? Red. 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 <laughs> yes, you're out, it was rent. We have probably all the excuses under the sun. To be fair, probably the same excuses that Danny's mum got when he lived with her. <laughs> I remember, again, Andy living with us, I remember uh, Andy saying to Kat one day, like an apology, which will actually make sense why, just in a second. Uh, and actually, Andy, he bought Kat a necklace, especially for her, as a sorry. Kat, Kat was over the moon, as you would expect, thinking that Andy had actually parted with part of his, you know, Money, probably 50 pence, you know, something like that. Only to find out, <coughs> by Andy himself, just a few weeks later, that he'd actually been left behind by a girl uh... a few weeks earlier. Not <laughs> <laughs> even brought back to our house. <laughs> Knocked her about a little bit in the spare bedroom. Left us off, present for Catherine. <laughs> And thankfully, Andy moved out. <laughs> and, as a thank you, at the time, Andy said to us, Here you go, you can have a free view box for his TV. Because when he moved out into his flat, he said, I don't need a free view box, you can have it. Thank you. Anyway, a couple of months later, when well, the rent was due, because it was two months earlier, I said to Andy, and he sent that rent there, he went, well, I'll give you that preview box a couple of weeks earlier. <laughs> preview box, Andy, rent, no rent. <laughs> Some laws of that to this day. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, moving on. Andy finally met the girl of his dreams. The girl he wanted to spend the rest of his life with. Lorna. Mm. The beautiful bride and the very... Not just very, but very, very brave Lorna. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. But this was actually many, many years long after it is Fail's attempt on the ITV show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. time in my whole life. I do want to know you. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, on that line, uh. Danny, as part of his speech, wanted to try to get a clip of God's gift. <laughs> so he did his homework, a friend of a friend of a friend, if you had somebody in ITV, did his oh. homework phone calls. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry that much. No. But um, Danny managed to get the clip. Mm. They found it. And when he said, can we have it, the guy from ITV said, sorry, we can't actually release it. 
So I'm, uh, Danny being Danny said, well, why not? He said, because the, um, the voice over, <coughs> we can't release it. <laughs> Cut, long story short, who was it, Danny? Jimmy Savile. <laughs> <Yeah! laughs> so, sorry to disappoint you, because we've not got the clip. Oh, 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 <laughs> now I know that no <laughs> Otherwise, you can have the picture of Andy with Jimmy Savile over the top of him. Anyway, them chat up lines, Andy, on God's gift. Wow. Really bad. Bad. But I still use them to this day. I hope Here we go, he's got a... <laughs> <laughs>